Hey, how's it going, everyone? Saints fan back again with another GTA Online episode of Fashion Friday. Again, like I mentioned the last in the last episode, I'm going to be doing these probably like every other week from now on just because we're not getting as many submissions. But anyway, if you do have your own submission, your own outfit you want to share with us, then you can tweet it with the hashtag SaintsFF on Twitter. Now this week, starting us off, we have this really, really awesome military outfit that is from someone in my Discord, and this thing looks awesome. I especially love the face paint and how it just goes so well with this outfit. The outfit itself is like you know, I guess a standard sort of deserty look. Although it does have the black arms, the black uh, whatever that is underneath, and then the gray. You can see the gray scarf. So it does add some color. It's not just an all desert outfit, but like I said, that golden sort of face paint just looks so good with this one. And almost, I don't know, it makes you kind of look like a bad guy a little bit. But I kind of dig that in GTA. Next one we have is from firefighter and it is a firefighter as you can see on the right this is what the npc firefighter looks like and on the left this is a recreation and it's probably as close as you're gonna get the shirt here or the jacket that looks pretty damn similar you got pretty much the same gloves uh, unfortunately we can't wear the the helmet which is I guess the main thing that you may associate with firefighters, or at least their clothing, uh, and then the shoes are a little different, but you can maybe tweak this if you want. I just thought this was cool. I know everyone wants to, I guess, role play or be a cop or have a cop outfit, but the firefighter outfit is not that bad. Third one from Ryan is the casual agent. You can see up here. This is what you need. The unfortunate part is that you are going to need to do the glitch to get the IAA badge or the belt. And he says easy way, but the way is it's like a 18 minute long video and it's super complicated. I just I really I maybe we need to start a petition on having Rockstar give us these items because it's so stupid. Like, look at that. That's right there. A freaking IAA badge. Apparently that's game breaking to Rockstar. I I don't know. I guess we'll never know. But the outfit does look cool with uh, with those. If you do want to go the extra steps, you can see going through uh, some of these pictures. He uh, is apparently pulling over the Joker there. And he is in a little shootout, looks like. But yeah, the casual agent, it does just... It just is a nice... I mean, like the name suggests, casual IAA type of, a, type of an outfit. So that's, that's a really cool one. Although, unfortunately, you're going to have to do a lot to get the badge. The next one for Mr. Psycho is a count, or the uh, Blaine County Sheriff, the small town sheriff. You can see, I think we've done multiple of these, but they always look good. You got the cowboy hat. Obviously, you're smoking up in Sandy Shores. You got the cowboy boots, it looks like, uh, and everything else. And you have to pair it with the sheriff vehicle up at the sheriff station. So that one's cool. Then we have Brian with Drake's Hotline Bling. This is a nice outfit for your character. The red, the gold, the pants, the faded sort of jeans, the the beige work boots. All of it, it blends really nicely, and it, it turned out, I think, really, really awesome. We have Leda. She's got... This one's a really cool outfit. It's super simple, but I kind of dig it. Like, for your female character, the white and the red, super simple color scheme. And, I don't know, it just looks good. The over... The big sort of draping down giant t-shirt with sort of like no pants and then the this the heels and the balaclava i just i really like that look looks cool for like heisting around and stuff and then the other one is this one red and white more formal of an outfit more of a business look i guess if you wanted to uh, to go that way then we have the real shit poster with the incognito now the pictures are unfortunately kind of bad here but i do like the way this one came out i like the face part the mask and all that so you can see it needs black shiny jacket and some other stuff you are gonna have to do the helmet mask and glasses glitch to get everything to work properly but when you do that it looks kind of cool and the tuxedo with the hat the glasses and the mask and all that just looks nice 
and it looks kind of mysterious since you really can't see any part of like the body. So if you're into that sort of stuff, then there you go. And then finally, wrapping up this week, we have three from Jessica. These are some three good female outfits. We have the Desert Sniper here. Always like those sort of outfits. Then we have this one, which is called Autumn Wear. I kind of dig that one. I like the colors just for your for a casual sort of look for your female character. And then the final one is the Queen of Style. And you have to rock it with the stretch limo. But that one is if you're going to go a little crazy. But anyway... That is this week's episode. Thank you all for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoy. Subscribe for more of these. And like I said, if you have your own outfit, you can submit them with the hashtag SaintsFF over on Twitter. But anyway, thank you all. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.